So now we will go to a pigeon pose. So first come to the table posture and do a couple of cows and cat. Notice in your spine how it moves. Now slide your right knee towards your right wrist. Bring the shin bones parallel to the top of your mat and sink your tailbone down. And draw your both hips down on your floor first. And take a big inhale and exhale slowly lower your torso. Your arms could be on top of each other and rest your forehead down on your arms. Or simply come onto the forearms and play as position. Each exhalation, relax your hip muscle and sink into this posture. more you relax your muscles, the benefits will be bigger. You normally would stay here on this pigeon pose three minutes to eight minutes or sometimes ten. And while you're sinking in this posture, stay calm. And if distraction in your mind, then just to bring your awareness back on your breath. Remember, your breath is to bring you back to the present moment, here and now. And when you come up, slowly press your forearms up and slowly move your body a little bit, wiggle side to side. Tuck your left toe under, slide your knee and bring your right leg back. It's just sometimes good to release your legs up back, bring in and out. Take your time to releasing any tension and feel your muscle or joint. This is the best part of yin yoga. Now again, go ahead to do a couple of cast and cat pose. Now try opposite hip. Slide your knees closer to your wrist or in the middle, depending on your hip. Shin bones are powerful. Slide your hips in. Sink down on your postures. Maybe wiggle your hips a little bit. And starting to release your hip muscles and shoulders and relax, torso, and slowly release your torso to the new floor. I prefer with your arms with the plyer position. Yin yoga is the monks, the Buddhist monks started to practice ready for a long meditation.
with each exhalation, let your muscle relax more. Stay here for five, three to eight minutes or sometimes ten. And then when you're ready, slowly lift your head and press up back. Wiggle your torso a little bit before you come out totally your posture. And then release your hips. Lengthening your legs or hips, any movement that your body desires. And this is the time to really feel your effect of the, your posture. And again, a couple of cow pose and a cat pose. 